Hi, I'm Jack Shelley and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you how to deadhead your summer bedding plants. Now, deadheading in the garden, especially for summer bedding and annual plants, is a really important part of keeping them looking good and keeping them in flower for longer. The process of deadheading annual plants is really, really simple. There are different methods for different types of plants, but on the whole, bedding plants can be treated all the same way. So what exactly is deadheading? Well, deadheading is the process of removing dead, damaged or faded flowers from your bedding plants. What this does is it encourages the plant to produce more flowers and more growth. It doesn't harm the plants in any way and it's actually incredibly beneficial for you guys because it means your summer bedding plants will continue to flower and flourish for much later in the season. I'm going to be focusing on a couple of different types of bedding plants today such as New Guinea impatiens and petunias. So let's take a look at how to deadhead your plants. So when it comes to the actual process of deadheading your plants you need to identify what are healthy and what are not and what needs to be taken off. So as you can see these two flowers here are looking pretty good at the moment, they've just opened so there's no need to do anything with those at all, just leave them as they are. So this flower has finished, um, it's tired, it's kind of collapsed in on itself um, and it really needs to be pulled off. What will happen is it will promote new growth, there's already some new growth starting in here and it will promote more buds and ultimately more flowers for your garden. So what you need to do is find the stem which is just here and simply pinch it off like that. Trying to get as much of the original stem off as possible back to a node which is now in here and that will then reshoot from there and you can discard this flower. This flower here has been damaged by water. You can see the water marks on the petals there. This can be taken off because it's not looking particularly nice anymore and I'm not that keen on having it on the plant. So again, you locate the stem of the flower, which is here, right back as close to the main stem as possible and there you go. Same thing will happen, it will send out more flowers and the more often you do this and the more frequently you do this the more flowers you'll get throughout the season. And the same process applies for New Guinea impatience as well. So this flower here is looking rather tired and a little bit faded as you can see, it's not looking brilliant. Again, you want to find the stem as close to the main plant as possible, pinch it off and same thing. That will encourage new flowers coming through from there. So that's all there is to it in terms of deadheading your annual plants. It's a super easy process. This process can be used, as I said, on most annual bedding plants and will ensure that your plants produce flowers for longer and will look their best at all times. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, if you do have any questions or comments, post them in the box below. Drop the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And also make sure to follow me on my social media channels to keep up with everything else that's happening in the garden. I'm on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Jack Shilly Gardener. Twitter, at Jack Shilly. And also on Instagram, at Jack Shilly. Make sure to also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future video updates. I will see you in the next video.